Oh, we're starting now? Sure. Cool. I want to write my own story. You know, there's a, there's a way I want to live my life. There's a way I want to go about my days. Um, spend my years that I have here. And for now, this is what I want to do with those years. I want to wake up, start moving my body, coming to the gym, train, learn, be artistic, grow. I want to eat healthy, be in great shape, see what my body's capable of, see what my mind's capable of, see how far I can take something that I enjoy and see what I can do with it. I mean, I first discovered the sport when I was 11 watching UFC 30. And then when I began at 13, started grappling, started wrestling, and yeah, I've been in love with it ever since. I don't know what it was about it, but something deep inside me, something primal. It's probably what it is, something primal. Every person fights, it's one of the oldest things in the world. Every animal does it. Just sparked something in me, and just knew that's what I loved. As a little kid, yeah, got in a lot of playground fights. But yeah, as soon as I found martial arts, that all stopped. Martial arts, is, it's, it's far more complex. It's, it's more than just about uh, the outcome of what you're doing. It's, it's about what you can create with your mind, body, and soul. Um, it, what can you put your own little thumbprint? What can you add that's completely unique to yourself? Uh, how can you test your mind? How can you test your spirit? It's many different layers than just fighting. Martial arts is much, much deeper. You know, I feel like a samurai. <laughs> I could sit quiet in meditation all day. They can go on the battlefield and fight to the absolute death and not have a worry in the world. Martial arts has completely changed who I am from the inside out. To me, uh, everybody's like, oh, that's gotta be so cool. Um, when I stop and think about it and really put it in perspective, like, yeah, it's cool, you know, I've come a long way and I'm, I'm, I'm on the way to, you know, on my journey, I'm, I'm, it's going exactly how I expect it to. Um, but I expect these things of myself. I set high standards for myself. Uh, I believe I'm one of the best in the world and I have some of the most capable skills in the world. So when I get knockout of the year, I get newcomer of the year, uh, round of the year, it doesn't surprise me. These are the things I expect myself to put on. The only part that is unexpected, that comes out of nowhere, the only time that ever happens is injuries. Four years ago, I'm doing some wrestling, shot a double leg, guy sprawled out and hipped into my shoulder and just dislocated, popped right out. I, th I'm, I was like, that's it, I'm done, my career is over. Turns out it was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. Uh, I, that's when I discovered all the movement work. I started digging deeper into this, all these layers of movement, all these layers of what the body can do and how to make it better and all these different capabilities um, and how they overlap into fighting and how fighting overlaps into them and how they can help one another synergistically. Anything you can think of that has to do with moving your body. It could be dance, it could be fighting, it could be snowboarding, it could be squatting, hanging, climbing trees. It could be standing still, completely still. It could be how you sit, how you lay down, how you get up. Any, any type of way you move your body, it's, it's, that's movement. It uh, encompasses, encompasses every single thing that you do with your body. Because most people don't understand how to move their body. They don't understand what a capable tool it is and what it's, uh, what it's able to do. They come into the gym, they hit pads, they, they go for a run. They do pull-ups and squats and push sleds. They go to grappling. Um, and that, that's as deep as their layers go. You start digging deeper into these deeper layers of movement. Find yourself in awkward positions. Uh, become strong positions that you're normally weak at. Increasing your range of motion. Increasing how relaxed you are when you move. All these different things, they, they overlap into the sport and into everyday life and just 
it makes you better at everything that you do. It's such an overlap. It increases your athleticism and just your everyday capabilities and well-being and how you feel. Adversity is one of the things I'm most thankful for in life. So to be able to spend the first five and a half years of my adult life in constant adversity, wondering if I'm going to make the next uh, rent check, uh, you know, having to ride a, a moped 365 days a year through single digit weather and snow. Uh, dealing with all these different bits of adversity, it's, it's you know, it makes you grow. If you don't have the adversity, you don't grow. So I'm absolutely thankful for that, for all the struggle. I love what I do. I don't want to do this forever. There's other things I want to do in my life. Uh, I, have a, I have an end date. That's when I'm 30. Hopefully make a fuck ton of money. And then I want to go and do other things. But for now, it's not about the end game, it's about what I'm doing, it's about the journey, it's about who I'm becoming, what I'm doing now, what I'm learning, and who I'm sharing it with. And I never had a nickname, I was against nicknames for a long time, and then uh, decided to try to come up with a nickname, couldn't come up with one, and then one day we were sitting down at IHOP in Palm Springs, California, eating some pancakes, me and Cub. Uh, shooting the shit, trying to figure out nicknames. And he goes, well, I gotta have something that, you know, is, you know, it mirrors your style, it mirrors who you are, your fighting style. It starts popping off things. He says, how about Groovy? And I kind of like that. Groovy. Groovy Lando. All right. And then stuck. Yeah, stuck. That's how I came upon the name Groovy. Damn, the grooviest son of a bitch there is.